Hi everyone, this is Mark. And this is Angelina from Mark Angel. So this playlist is created to share in-depth research across all projects in Singapore. And in this video, we are going to share with you the four and five bedrooms analysis for high park residences using two key factors, supply, demand, and unit type. And if you stay to the end of this video, you are going to discover which unit type is a more profitable purchase and why is there a significant difference in those profits. High Park Residences is a very large development that is located in Fernville, a new neighbourhood of Sengkang New Town in District 28. It has a 1,390 residential units that range from studio, 1 to 5 bathers, bungalows and semi-detached homes. High Park Residences also has 9 commercial units including restaurants and childcare centre. Let's start with our first factor, supply and demand. Take a look at our current supplies within the vicinity. We have high park residences, lush acres, river trees, river banks, and H2O. And the combined supplies for the four and five bedrooms are 507 units and 133 units respectively. Bui, it seems like there are a lot of units around this area lay. Well, if you take a look at the profit made by the homeowners, you will understand that there are actually a lot of demands within this area. With multiple BTOs and resale HDBs in the neighbourhood, it is clear that the demand comes from the HDB upgraders who are keen to upgrade their lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle, one of the key elements that HDB upgraders prioritise is space, which explains why the larger units in high park residences are making such a handsome profits. Take a look at the first 20 profitable transactions, on average, they are making about $300,000 and the highest profit made is half a million dollars which is equivalent to a 5-room HDB. Versus another location, let's say Bartley area. There are a few developments along Bartley MRT which are Bartley Residences, Bartley Ridge and Botanic at Bartley. The total inventories added for the developments are just 154 units of the 4-bedroom type. I would say it is a lot lesser as compared to the Fernville area. However, does lesser supplies equal to higher profit? Let's take a look at the profitable transactions for the 4-bedroom in Bali Ridge. From here, we can see that the average profits made by the homeowners are around 100 to 200,000. And for the profitable transactions in Bartley residences are even lesser, which some of the units are even making a loss. Why is that so? Well, if you have been to the Bartley area, you will see that there are not many resale HDBs in the neighbourhood. When the demand for larger units in the area is low, naturally the prices will be affected too. However, there will be more BTOs coming into the Bartley area as well as Bidadari, a new estate nearby. Therefore, I foresee a surge in demand for the larger units in 5 to 10 years' time. High demand, low supply. Therefore, I do see some opportunities in the larger units in the Bartley area. Next, let's talk about the unit types. Besides the normal 4 and 5 bedroom that you see in the market, do you know that high park residences have dual key units as well? Let's take a look at the floor plan. Unlike our regular condo unit, dual key condo unit consists of two separate living spaces that are connected by a shared common foyer. So you have a tree bed on one side of the apartment and a studio unit on the other side. In high park residences, there are a total of 23 dual key units in the development and only five of them has been sold in the resale market. Let us dive into the numbers and analyse the profit against the normal 4-bedroom to determine which is a more profitable purchase. So, we have sorted the data based on profits ranging from the highest to the lowest. As you can see over here, the top 20 profitable transactions are all the typical 4 and 5-bedrooms layout. Then, where are the dual key types? Are there any profits? Yep, there is. However, they are not making as much profits as the typical 4 or 5 bedroom unit types. Hmm, I think that's kind of expected based on the demands of the demographics in the area. 
that we talked about earlier. So if you are an investor who is looking to purchase a larger unit in high park residences, and if your focus is on the rental yield, go for the dual key layouts as you can rent out two separate groups of tenants. That way, your rental income is higher as compared to the typical layout, or you can choose to stay at a three bedroom and rent out the studio unit to cover for your monthly installment. However, if you just want to buy something that is easier to sell in the future, then we would recommend you to go for the typical layout like the four and five bedrooms as it is more consumable and chances of you making profit is higher. Last but not least, if you are a homeowner who are owning a four or five bedroom unit type in High Park, due to the initial low entry price and the low supply in the current market, you may choose to hold on to your property. But do take note of the upcoming supply, which is Park Botania and a new EC, Park Greenwich, as this could potentially affect the demands. Therefore, if you have plans to sell anytime soon, I will recommend you to list your property before Park Botania TOP. If you have missed it, the best time for you is to list your unit again uh, a year later after Park Botania TOP, because by then, those owners who are looking to sell upon TOP have already done so. Therefore, there will be less competition at that point of time. Do note that the numbers we are sharing are as of today, and it might change by the time you watch this video. Therefore, remember to get the updated figure for accurate research, okay? If you like what we have been sharing so far, do like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any other input regarding our sharing, or is there any other certain projects that you would like us to review on, do let us know in the comment section below. See ya! See ya.